Look at that huge storm coming. I'm gonna have to put away the camera. Gosh, it sucks. We'll be back, folks. Thank you for your support. Thank you guys like you who do things like this. Listen, this is what it's all about. Let me put some more shit in there. Come on. Wow. We're too psychic. Yeah. Um. You know, once they hyper. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Woo, I got the special bait right there, guys. Look at that. We got some pilchards. Got some pilchers and some shrimp, baby. Let's do it. I am so tired already. There's no one on the bridge but me, which is perfect. And it's no win. A lot of my last videos have been so much win, it's been hard to really want to explain some stuff to you that I got going on. So no matter what is caught today, at least this is going to be a lot more instructional than my last videos. So let's get into it. Now, why did I pick this spot right here? Why did I pick this spot? I actually have no real rhyme or reason. I just didn't want to fish on a railing today. When I come by myself and during the week, I really just try to pick a spot that I don't think a lot of people will be fishing on the same exact bridge that everyone is going to. So, that is why I picked this area here and it's worked out so far. All right, what do we always start with? Chum, good old chum. Reason we start with chum is we want to see what fish are in the area, hopefully bring some fish that are a little bit coming from the patch reefs to come to our area. And then lastly, we're using chum to also get the ballyhoo. I get the ballyhoo, I can get the bigger fish. That's the goal. All right, so let me show y'all what I'm doing. Right now, there's so much seaweed, it's almost unfishable. I can't get my baits far like I usually would so it's fine. I'm just gonna fish right next to the piling. I got this piece of gog. See this part I used the head only, it got bit up a little bit, so I'm just gonna switch to the stomach. And it's pretty fresh, you see the roll there? It's still bleeding pretty good. It's still bleeding pretty good, so I'm just gonna hook it right here. Right in the stomach part, just like that. Mutton has no problem eating this whole thing, at least one big enough to eat it. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. <clears throat> Let it keep going. It hits bottom. Boom. Lock it up. Put the clicker on. And we'll just wait. Oh. You want to get the, the net for me? I got a big mutton. Yep. All right, so put the net down on that side you are you're at. I'm coming to you. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. They gotta be in. Gotta be fast, cause the uh, the, the the you know I'll be getting shark. Tangled up. Let's see. It'll straighten itself out. It's a nice fish. It's a bear. Oh really? Hold on, let me see. Oh, I definitely can't. I can't lift him. No, I'll lift. I appreciate it. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought I... All right, get get that thing in there, baby. Let's do it. All right, that's cool. Stay stay there. I'll come to you. And then you're gonna go off to the left a little bit. That way, the water will pull you in. All right, you can drop. To you a bit okay, here. I'll be able to see it. All right, in the water. All right, cool. Yes. Hey. Woo! Yeah, yeah. buddy. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. I just put that bait down too. I see it. I'm telling you, watch them catch one before we do. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a nice one. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Oh, that's gonna be this was on the the gogs. Okay, that's the first one I got on that. All right, let's let's take them to the winner's table. Uh, here. Oh. You know I love it when you already know they make it, but still. Yeah, gotta be sure. <laughs> oh. Relax, my friend. Zero. Oh. Almost 19. Nice. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I appreciate these gentlemen helping me out. That was freaking man. awesome. Came in the clutch. I didn't even get to take all my stuff out yet and get ready. That bra just went down. Thanks again, gentlemen. You got it, man. Yes, sir. What are you doing, man? We love you. Yeah, buddy. Zero. 18.75. That's a keeper button. Oh, that's the keeper. Let's keep him in the water. You think so? Right there. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Going. This one's going to make it. He has to. All right. Oh, it's close. He's going to be close. Let me go get the, uh, the measuring tape. All right. Today. Absolutely. Oh, we got here. Right up to zero. What? 16 and a half. I thought he was much bigger. Yep. Wow. Almost there. Well, we got to get to 18. 18 right? Yeah. Yeah. He got to get chunky. He's uh, chunky. He's he got to get longer. Now. That's all right. Yeah. We're getting there. Absolutely. Pretty fish. Four years ago, that was a keeper. When it was 16 per, per uh, 16 inches, 10 per person. Four years ago then they changed the five per person 18 inches so yeah man Let's do it again but that's what makes this that's why you always hear me yelling because it's a big deal you know all right All right, I got a little pilchy, but to throw him out, see if he could get me another keeper, Martin.
All right. We're gonna try some squid now. I like to switch the baits. I don't want the, the fish to get hooked on one type of bait. So now I'm just gonna use a whole squid. That's all I do with the whole squid, guys. Dropping it straight down. It's a lot more manageable straight down. I know exactly what's happening with the bait. I got another mutton, guys. This was on squid. I don't want to disturb the, the folks, so I'm just gonna walk them. I seen that rod just bent straight down. Holy moly. Yeah. <clears throat> Woohoo! I didn't want to bother you. <clears throat> I hope he's going to be close. That was crazy. Woo Boy, he took that squid. <clears throat> I don't want to bother them. But I know what I got. Yeah, buddy. Snapper fiasco at the bridge. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you sooner than later. Peace.